with that one there. Okay, Neil. Eric, you're through, yes. but do you leave with a slight feeling of almost embarrassment at how you let that game nearly go? So, uh, mixed feelings is clear, but um, it's a huge achievement to be twice in a FA Cup final in two years. Um, the last 20 years, United was all, uh, five times in the final. Now we are two times in two years, so it's a huge achievement. But of course, when you are so in control in the game, when you're so dominating the game and three nil up, uh, then we should bring it uh, over the finish. And the way we did was not good. Uh, but also, I have to say, to uh, in the penalty series, how we act there, how determined we were, uh, that is uh, finally that is a good sign and this show good character. But uh, from the 70 minute and to the end, uh, there we make mistakes and it shouldn't happen. Eric, there's been a few occasions this season where you've played okay as a team and then you have periods and it might be like three minutes like at Chelsea or 20 minutes or half an hour where the team just doesn't seem to function and any game can get away from you. Why, why does that happen and why has it not been stopped? Yes, um, I, I see that see that similar. Um, so we can play on very high levels, but in the same match also we can go very in low levels um, in the same game. And that's not explainable, but it has to do with uh, uh, manage the, uh, the game, of course, uh, take responsibility, take each other in the responsibility, uh, so ke keep organized and make the right decisions. And um, yeah, I, I have to teach my players clear and we have to do better in such uh, occasions. But also I have to say uh, the most difficult we can do to put ourselves in a winning position. And the last thing is much easier, but uh, we on several occasions, we let each other down and we let the result slip away. But uh, today uh, we got away with it. Eric, um, how do you explain that lack of game management? Because there were some experienced players out there, Anana, Maguire, Fernandes, Casemiro, Rashford even. You know, th th that's not a young, young side. Uh, and it's been two years now, so surely they should be able to see out a game from 3-0 up. Uh, it's clear, and we can talk about it, and it's, it's true. Uh, but um, I see also the flip side, uh, where we are 70 minutes, uh, we are playing... Uh, to good levels. I see also uh, the flip side where we two times in two years we are in the FA Cup final and is now uh, take advantage from this. Uh, that we have to go to that cup final to, uh, to and have the belief we can win. And we can do it. Uh, we showed uh, lately in the Emirates where we put ourselves also in a winning position where we could have scored uh, a second goal. Um, we showed last season in this cup final that we had a really good opportunity uh, to win this cup final. But yeah, we play against probably the best team in the world. So yeah, you have to play um, 90 minutes and extra time uh, to your highest levels. Otherwise, you don't have a chance. And so we need a team, uh, put a team out who taking that responsibility. And uh, we have the players to do it, but they have to believe from the first whistle till the final whistle. Can you understand why Manchester United fans, many of them will be embarrassed at the way You've got to the final. Obviously, they're happy you're there, but embarrassed at the manner in which you've made it there. No, no, I don't. Uh, I can't see uh, that word uh, because, at the end of the day, it's about the achievement. And yeah, uh, I see uh, the mistakes we make. Huh? We can't look away from it, but it's not an embarrassment. It's, as I say, it's a huge achievement. Huh? So even the, uh, a, a, a big team from United uh, from a decade ago, they only achieved the final three times. We now uh, two times in two years. So that's a good performance. And that with all the setbacks we have in this season. Also today, uh, that 3-3 three, three 
it's absolutely crazy that decision. And then, and when then is there consistency? Then we should get a penalty to make the four three as well. And that was more a handball than uh, the penalty we concede. And that happens also lately many times. It was Chelsea had two uh, crazy penalties. It was Liverpool penalty also. You very debatable. So that happens also. And it looks like uh, it's going. Yeah, it's like a curse against us. But um, yeah, we will we will take energy from this. And uh, we go in the last weeks, and uh, we have to build the confidence and to take advantage uh, from this as well. Hey, can I just ask what what the mood is like in the dressing room? Are they in there celebrating? Are they are they down? What what's the mood like in the dressing room? No, uh, they, they also see that they are uh, mixed feelings. They are also disappointed by the. Uh, to allow the opponent, and I have to say, big compliment to Coventry as well, and they kept fighting. So, but by the end of the day, we allowed them uh, to to the return in the game, and it is completely unnecessary uh, if you do your job. Hi, Eric. You said there that you have to teach the team to manage and control the game better. And it's happened a lot this season. There's obviously a lot of change going on. The, the days like this, when you can have a three league risk weakening your position as, as manager. It would be crazy. I, you, have, you need the tools also huh, to, to manage this. And you know, with all the injuries, we don't have so many tools. Huh? And we don't even have a, a, have a back four to play players in their, in their best positions. And so uh, I have to also, on that part, I have to give the team also a compliment uh, that yeah, players... Uh, they manage that to play in a position and uh, they are not in their best uh, but they do the job there and um, they're playing and giving 100% what is normal of course but uh, it's not always easy when you're not uh, you can't play your best football when you're not playing in your best position uh, last question Eric it looks like you picked up more injuries today have you got any more details on those and between now and the end of the season does the focus now need to be on ensuring you can get as many of your players on the pitch to be able to compete with City in the final? That is, that is one thing, yeah. But also, I think the players should, should prove that they um, earn to play in the final and, and to give performances in the coming weeks. And of course, we have also to defend our position in the Premier League as well. Um, um, so, yeah, but it would be helpful if we uh, return some players um, in the squad and in the team and that they fit because if you uh, want to beat Manchester City you don't need even 11 players you need a squad you need a bench uh, who also uh, can step in if necessary and in whatever situation you are in okay thank you very much